Zombie games are now more popular than ever, and as the saying goes, you could never have too much of a good thing. Well, unless you're this guy. There's something about being a stocked up survivor trying to make it through desolate wastelands of civilization or a gun-toting undead killer that connects with gamers. You only need to look at how many new zombie games come to Steam each week to see just that. Much like their movie counterparts, however, there is, um, an awful lot of builds to wade through until you find some walking cadaver fan worth investigating. Overkill's The Walking Dead and Revelations 2012. The best thing about the latter is that it actually came out in 2012. There's nothing else there. So when the best zombie games come around once in a blue moon, they're worth treasuring. With that in mind, let's take a look at the titles that will make you want to say hello to your Aunt Alicia as some of the best zombie games. Before we start, here are the rules for our list of best zombie games. No modes within games that aren't primarily about zombies. Sorry, Call of Duty. Only one entry per franchise. We're not getting anal about the classic definition of a zombie. If they snarl and want to bite your neck out to make you one of them, we'll count them. Here then are the best zombie games for you to tuck into. Sorry. Number 10. State of Decay. Criminally underrated, Undead Lab's State of Decay is a seriously heady blend of survival gameplay and relationship mechanics. It has its rough edges, but there's never been a game that feels this close to what living through a zombie apocalypse would actually be like. Its sequel comes close, but it has a little too much busy work to make it quite as freeing a game. Taking your small sanctuary and building on it before spreading across the map and offering a real chance of salvation for survivors is one of the bright spots in State of Decay. The going is tough and the hits never really stop coming, but with a ragtag group at your disposal, there isn't much you can't overcome. Before too long, the stressful dynamics of keeping everyone happy, and most importantly alive, feels far more engaging than any episode of The Walking Dead. Number 9. Days Gone Technically, this isn't a zombie game, as the enemies are freakers, but we're gonna go ahead and add them here anyway. After rampaging through E3 2016 with an eye-opening reveal trailer, Days Gone had been pushed back a bit and went somewhat quiet at one point, but finally released in April 2019 to some middling reviews. It's been a different story for its players, though, who recognise it as one of the best single-player titles the PS4 has to offer. It achieves this thanks to about a million zombies and also a million ways of killing them. You won't forget the first time you encounter your first horde, which will probably happen just as you're rambling along and minding your own business. Aside from that, Days Gone also has a great story and a protagonist worth sticking with as he learns and grows not only as a survivor, but also as a person. Number 8. The House of the Dead your local arcade isn't officially an arcade unless it has a dusty and weathered cabinet of Sega's classic The House of the Dead somewhere on its floor. The rail shooter is one of the most beloved of its kind and spawned a franchise that's been strong for over two decades, but for sheer nostalgia and its wonderfully camp tone, the original wins out. Quite uniquely for an arcade game, The House of the Dead released with a system that relied heavily on player decisions. Choose poorly and you might make your life that much more difficult by it forcing you into different difficult confrontations or giving you the bad ending. But let's be real here, the House of the Dead's main selling point is the insanity like this. And Friends, it is not over yet. Is that all you have to say? In time, a successor will come. Farewell, friends. It's finally over. Goldman, I don't care if I I'll go on fighting. As long as we have the will to live. Goodbye, Goldman. Thank you. Truly the most iconic story ever set to a video game, and one way to submit yourself as one of the greatest zombie games ever made. Number 7. 
Zombies ate my neighbours. Back when Konami wasn't truly awful and LucasArts still made games, the two companies joined forces to release a little game that had a big impact on the industry even if it wasn't immediately obvious. Zombies Ate My Neighbours tasked SNES and Genesis players with dealing with a zombie outbreak in their neighbourhood. Playing as one of two children, it was a barmy shooter that gave you an armoury that even Kevin McAllister would be jealous of. Imagine Home Alone and Dead Rising had a 16-bit baby and you have Zombies Ate My Neighbours. Sadly, it was never a commercial success, but a recent release on Virtual Console saw the praise and adoration pour back in for one of the many gems LucasArts had in their catalogue. Number 6. Dying Light Remember the guys behind Dead Island? They returned in 2015 with another zombie adventure that was superior in almost every way, and surely one of the most underrated games of this generation. There's something so primarily satisfying about leaping from rooftops and kicking zombies in the face, you know? If you want the full package, you have to go for Dying Light, the following enhanced edition. It adds all the DLC and an entirely new map in which you can drive around in a dune buggy and mow down the undead at your leisure. Mix that with cohesive parkour and collectathons that feel important to your progress, and Dying Blight absolutely delivers one of the better zombie experiences out there. Roll on the sequel. Number 5. Dead Rising 2 off the record. It was a hard task to decide which Dead Rising belongs on the list. Well, obviously Dead Rising 4 wouldn't get anywhere near it, and even though I have a soft spot for Dead Rising 3, earlier games in the series perfected the recipe, so they would have to get the nod ahead of Nick's gloomy adventures. For marrying the most beloved protagonist of the series with the improved gameplay of the second game, Dead Rising 2 off the record has to come out on top. Frank is back in a non-canonical adventure that puts him in place of Chuck Green in this excellent open open world game and it really works. As much as the original Dead Rising has achieved for zombie games overall, it's quite dated. Its pseudo sequel, which comes equipped with ridiculous weapon combinations and Frank West in a dress, has to go down as one of the best zombie games. Number 4 Left 4 Dead 2 So good they forgot to make a third one. Left 4 Dead 2 isn't a dramatic departure from its original. In fact, it only really has new maps and a couple of tweaks to mark the pair apart. Those tweaks did a lot to ensure its longevity, however, it's still one of the most played games on Steam nearly eight years after release. Heavily focused on co-op, you and three other players must team together to take on the undead in their masses and complete objectives. The zombies, whether they're sprinting or throwing huge boulders at you, are always a threat, meaning that rationing and being quick on your feet is imperative. It's a simple game, but one that is hugely effective in what it does. Try to tell me that the sight of a witch still doesn't fill you with dread and I will call you a liar. Number 3. Telltale's The Walking Dead Season 1 Speak of the devil, and apparently he will make you cry tears you never knew you had. Telltale were producing narrative-driven adventure titles for many years, and were in high demand at one point, but nothing really came close to telling the same stories or captivating the player as much as the first season of their Walking Dead adaption. Based on the graphic novels and not the AMC series, Telltale's The Walking Dead may not please those who want to kill endless amounts of zombies, but it doesn't have to. Instead, The Walking Dead is a concise and essential game driven by themes of family that will chip away at even the most hardened macho game of a near. Remember to keep that hair short and lose yourself in the zenith of interactive storytelling. Also, R.I.P. Telltale. Number 2. The Last of Us. This is admittedly a bit of a cheat. While Naughty Dog's sombre masterpiece doesn't technically feature zombies and has infected humans instead, it has many of the hallmarks of the subgenre at Look, okay, it's magnificent, let me have this one. While its gameplay innovates in some areas, The Last of Us hasn't become so renowned because of the way it plays. It's because of the story it tells, one that's basic, yet incredibly complex at the same time. The relationship between Joel and Ellie, the game's protagonists, acts as the catalyst for the player's immersion and forces them through the congested corridors filled with clickers, runners, and all sorts of gruesome creatures just to see where the pair arrive next. It's a masterclass in storytelling, showing that you don't have to write a space opera for people to pay attention. If The Last of Us 2 can be even half as good as this, it will do okay. Number 1. Resident Evil 2 Original 
and remake. So good that people were impatiently waiting for its remake for years. Resident Evil 2 didn't so much tell gamers that the franchise was worth paying attention to, as it did thrust it in their faces with some of the most terrifying atmospheric gameplay available on the fifth generation of video game consoles. Taking the foundations set by its predecessor and running with them, Resident Evil 2 took players out of the claustrophobic Spencer Mansion and into the open of Raccoon City. It somehow didn't lose any of the tension in the process either. Raccoon City was just as alive as it was undead. If you're going to dip back into this one, you might want to take your nostalgia glasses off. It hasn't aged tremendously well, but for what it did for the survival horror subgenre, it's absolutely worth trying at least once. We've also decided to cheat a little here by including the 2019 remake for Resident Evil 2, which might actually be one of the best remakes ever, regardless of medium. It is respectful of the source material while adding plenty of unique flavorings of its own. Just don't make us choose between them, we beg. So there you have it, that is our list of the 10 best zombie games available. So, did you agree with our list? Did you like or dislike? Please let us know in the comments down below if there's anything you might have added to the list. But until then, please do hit that notification bell, hit that like button, and remember to peck the subscribe for all new lists, videos, reviews coming soon to the Cultured Vultures YouTube channel. We are quickly closing in on 1,000 subscribers, so please do keep up to tabs with us in the Vulture's Nest on all the social media on screen. And until then, until then, cuckoo.